Inktober. Hey guys, welcome to day one of Inktober. Today we're drawing a ghost, and um, I was following these drawween uh, like prompts, and I decided against it, especially when I get to the third drawing. I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but it's a good one. So with this one, I kind of googled, or well, I, first I tweeted to everyone, being like, "Hey, does anyone have any good like ghost lore? Because I wanted to, you know, do some ghost stuff, something cool." And uh, I found a Japanese ghost, Yuri's Yar. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm really bad at pronunciations, but there's a variation of it where it's uh, girls that died at at sea. Girls that died at sea, and uh, so I kind of tried to merge ghost with mermaids, and I was really hoping for it to be kind of cute. It um it got a little bit more cartoony. Here you see me drawing seaweed, and I clearly don't know what seaweed looked like. For everyone, please have references. I didn't. I got really excited about this. I spent a lot of time figuring out how I'm going to record this because this is my first traditional video, guys. Like, I don't normally do this. So because it was Japanese-influenced, I decided to give it kind of a Komodo waistband. And um, having that Japanese, like, spirit fire, you know, the soul fire that you see a lot. Um, I'm using just regular Sharpies, by the way, guys, and a regular uh, mechanical pencil. No fancy stuff here, though the cardstock is a metallic cardstock, I just picked whatever looked thick and wouldn't have the ink blend, and it turned out pretty nice. The camera I'm using is my normal camera I do for shooting, it's just pointed down, and it's actually filming upside down, I just flipped it in After Effects. And so um, that way you get a clear view. Sadly, I'm left handed and I feel like my hands always covering up the drawing So I feel really bad about that guys So I figured I add a little extra commentary to it to make it interesting for parts where you can't see the drawing completely because of the sketches Or the ink, but hey overall This is my first time doing something in Sharpie in a long time and I think I did pretty well the lines aren't beautiful But they work This is day two of inktober and the prompt was devil and I just kind of made a generic devil though uh, my roommate came to me and was like I really like your devil it looks completely different than what you normally draw and I figured since I'm doing stuff out of my comfort zone anyways traditional art over digital art why not experiment with art style a lot of this is actually kind of sampled from one piece where um, just my memory of how Oda does his like shading on hair and different things like that uh, the character design itself is kind of ex exaggerated. Uh, I used a little bit of Steven Silver influence in me. And uh, someone said it looked like the devil from God, Bob, and the Devil or something like that. Uh, I haven't seen the show. I, I need to check it out. I've heard well, I've, I've heard things about it, but I've never actually seen it. And so with this one, it just kind of made a really long chin. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Transformers Prime, where like, all the characters have ridiculous chins. And, uh, you know, his hair, he's kind of balding now looking at it. Um, I wanted to have the giant horns. Um, I don't know, like, with, with, with Devil, I wanted to make it unique and interesting. I gave him some really, really thoughtful... Like, he looks pissed. He looks angry, and that's the kind of Devil I want. Um, I don't know. I, it could have went different ways. It could have went with Devil in a suit or uh, Little Baby Devil, and I didn't want to, like, patronize anyone that's like, I'm a really big fan of the Devil, I guess. Um, and then with the horns, I think I was originally going to do, like, uh, lines going across them, but I was like, ah, oh, it's going to use up too much ink, so... I decided to have little tiny little specks on it and then thicken the outline to uh, just kind of make it pop a little bit more. Now we're day three of Inktober and I switched things off. I decided not to do the Drawloween thing because, well, I don't know, I saw some of the prompts and it didn't seem too exciting and so I decided to play around with the idea that I suggested for a watch we draw and I know people really want me to do something Gravity Falls with them dressing up, so I was like, well, I can't just, uh, I, I, I really like this idea of Steven dressing up as Greg and Pearl dressing up as Wart from Over the Garden Wall. And so I decided, you know what, let's let's draw cartoon characters dressed up as other cartoon characters for the Inktobers. That'll be fun. Maybe not every day, maybe like once a week or something, but I thought this would be great. And so here I am drawing Steven from Steven Universe, Pearl, and Amethyst as well. I didn't draw Greg or um, Garnet because I assumed that Steven would be like, You have the most important job! You have to hand out the candy to the kids to come to the temple! And I assume no one's going there. And then there's like a side story with like Greg and Garnet just being like, No one's going to show up! Nope. Do we get the candy? Sure. And uh, so this one, it's just Steven dressed up as Greg um, with candy. And the expression that I have on Pearl when we get to it is kind of like this, like, oh, okay, we're doing the 
this delightful little human ritual. Um, I got the sack of, you know, calorie, free calories or whatever, you know, candy. And, uh, <laughs> and Steven being super excited, starry eyed, maybe seeing some cool costume on the other side. And then Amethyst having just, be, just looking like Beatrice because she shape shifted. And then you can just tell the difference because she has the, um, the gem. I thought that'd be kind of funny. And, uh, or I want to do something with, like, Venture Brothers, where, like, um, th there's a joke where the Venture Brothers are always, like, uh, a themed costume, but then Hank dresses up as the Batman, and I imagine, like, maybe Garnet would be that person, being, like, you know, Steven being, like, kind of upset that, like, yeah, we have all these cool themed, you know, themed costumes, but then Garnet has to be something, but then again, Garnet seems to be, like, the, I, not really pushover mom, but you know what I mean, she does anything to make him happy. And, uh, here, I kind of, like... Uh, I inked everything on her, and I decided to actually, like, uh, just do black for her, uh, for, like, the cape and such, and I think really added to it, but then she looks super thin compared to the other characters, so I wound up, like, going over the outline again with a thick sharpie, and, uh, you know, honestly, I think I kind of ruined it a little bit, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this one. It's the most, um, complex of the drawings. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry about the end results not looking super clean. I don't really have a scanner. I do most of my stuff digitally now. But if you do have anything you want to see me draw, leave it down in the comments. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next week.